That's what you need for that. Right, right. Or just shields. Yeah, shields, well, that works too. you could air dodge, because he usually uses it in the No, air. it'll pull you right into it. You can't even air dodge it. Alright, so in the air, you're just kind of fucked. Basically, yes. You're screwed. Basically, don't challenge his recovery at all, unless until he lands. Well, there you go. Here's how you play against Donkey Kong. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, his alfalfa spike? Alright, match started. Alright, the match has started. Alright, we have Pikachu versus DK. The leader of... Oh. Roto just going ham from the very start with Pikachu's spares. Hey, oh. For sure. Oh, and doesn't quite get hit by the hard-hitting part of DK's custom upbeat. Okay, you got a little bit of zoning, man. Oh, in there eat that jab. Right. You gotta respect DK's range, because... He can always keep Pikachu at a distance. I think but, he's trying to go for a back air, but I think the forward air on Pikachu's end was a little bit faster. Um, that's that's his back air. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, gets the jab, and he jab B, but misses. Get, it gets shielded, and Pikachu Pikachu's punishes. Like oh, oh he, get, he gets the spike hit on the thunder. Niji gets the hard hit on the, uh, on the up B, but he's not quite at kill percentage yet. The get-up attack will land on Roto. He lands that weird side B that almost completely broke Roto's shield. And Roto just landing these sick thunders. I don't even know. And Donkey Kong is receives a grim reminder that he cannot recover vertically. Yes, as great as the shield pressure is with his up B, he can't recover from Jack, Jack unless it's from the side. Nope. Oh, hey! EG almost wall of pains him and then just ends it with the custom up B. Alright, so we're on the last stock. Uh, Roto shields the forward smash. Really good. Oh, oh. Tries for the down B, didn't quite connect. Not quite. Oh, what was that? That was a custom side B where he just slams down. I did not know that was a thing. DK has really good customs. He's super jank with them. See, see that down B dude? Yeah, there, that shield just diminished like it was nothing. Oh my lord, that is insanity. It, it, it's a move, dude. It, 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 it's some jet. It's some super jet. Dude. Down B into up B. Oh, and he gets an up B, but it, it doesn't quite kill, though. Not to kill. One more like that. He's an 89. Oh. The thunder did nothing. It got the hit, but I mean. He got a little bit of percent there, but you know. Oh, and I, I think an up smash would have killed there, but it didn't quite. It might have. All right. Okay. Roto gets him off stage, but remember what we say about challenging DK's recovery. Yeah, don't. Don't do it. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I'm just joking. Alright. They're both, they're both okay, roughly at throw, kill percent. Roto, Roto might need a little more to get a reliable kill, but even at this percent, he could get an up an, uh, up smash and it would probably kill. Okay, oh, forward air. Roto just laying on the percent with the forward airs, but EG and that weird up B is just doing so well. It's any man's game at this point. Okay, it's off stage. That Donkey Kong up B is had it has to have gone stale by now, so it's probably not gonna kill as early as it should, but honestly at this percent I think it'll kill anyways. Probably. I mean anything at this point. He can just tap oh, yeah. Pikachu and go flying off the stage. At this yeah, point. at this point it's a it's who can poke who first. Basically. Okay, there goes a forward air. Uh the he got saved by the platform now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forward oh, throw. forward throw from Pikachu. Can he keep DK off? No. Oh! He challenged it. The, remember, remember, re remember what we say about challenging DK's recovery. So. <laughs> it did damage, but he has super armor on the last hit. It's super jank. Super jank. I mean, if the game's gonna be shitty anyways, you might as well have fun with the stupid shit in saying. it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Oh, well. Alright. Well, Roto just needs to shake it off and move it on to the next round. He's just... <laughs> McKinley hearing our Taylor Swift reference in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I'm a basic white girl. That's like the opposite of what you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not basic. <laughs> Okay, we're taking this to Battlefield. Okay, immediately going for the throw. He ain't wasting any time to get in there. Alright. Uh, DK tries to zone with the down B, but Roto just goes in with the fair. Okay, down throw, up there. Oh, he gets that thunder. Oh, but that 
jank ass side B that just slams down on him. You gotta respect that. It doesn't keep Pikachu in the ground for too long because he's low percent. Does, he, does that side B have any drawbacks? Um, I believe it has landing lag if you don't hit the edge with it. But you oh, can okay. totally hit the edge with it and it'll still hit in front of him. Oh, okay. Okay, gets goes to the back air, goes to the chase. He keeps on using that up B because it's just too freaking safe. Yeah, there's no reason not to. In a lot of situations, there's no reason not to use it. Yep, yeah, it's still wide open on landing, though. Yeah, well, the shield yeah, pressure, though. right there. Like right there, see? Yeah. It's not very safe on the ground. When your opponent is on the ground, it is not the safest move because they can shield it and then punish. But in any other situation, if your opponent's foot is not on the ground, just throw it out. There's no reason not to. Yeah. Okay, right. he's DK's at rage. This is a very dangerous position. Yeah. DK is one of the best characters with rage, especially with customs. And he lands. Oh, he lands it and grounds it, but nothing comes of it. No and punish Pikachu out of it. Away. Because that move does not keep Pikachu in the ground for that long. Especially if he shakes out of it, depending on the character. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. And he lands the upbeat. DK goes, with rage. Oh. Okay. Almost. On top. Oh. He's just going for it now. He's, he's just going wild with the upbeats. Oh, he lands the back air. Back air kills. Who did, 140, 154. Well, back air kills with rage. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It might have killed that percent anyway. But it it would have. DK has... Super light character versus super heavy character. Yeah. Really? Huh. Okay. DK, live it... DK just has tons of rage right now, so this is his chance to just oh, knock on damage. Oh, there it goes. Gosh, that was beautiful. And now it's gone. <laughs> okay, four days for days. Going to PK, uh, PK Thunderbolt. <laughs> PK Thunderbolt. PK Thunderbolt. Oh. Now, the thing about Pikachu's down B is it will stall him in the air, so we can actually use it before he recovers to guarantee no one tries to come down on him. Yeah. It's a very safe move. It also, it actually caused him to stay still in the air, kind of like delaying his recovery like a fox shine almost. Yeah, I can see, I can see where you're getting, you get that. Yeah. It's a very interesting way to recover with Pikachu, and hey, the more variety, the better. Smash 4 needs it. Man, this percent thing is just, there's not one in existence. <laughs> it's right. so tied up. But I would say in an even percent, DK has the advantage. Yes, it's definitely, so because he can benefit from rage way, way more so than Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Oh, get takes the edge from him. Not only that, oh. but he'll just kill earlier in general. That might be a kill. That that is a kill. Yeah, there he is. That is. Is this like any kind of special match? Like, was that semis or anything? Oh, this is winners final, so it's not over yet. Nope. Old Roto pull a rabbit out of his hat. All right. EG up two games to nothing right now, in a good position to take the entire set, but Roto is not out yet. He could still win it. Yeah. We need a spear bomb at this point, so when he's giving his energy. Everyone, <laughs> everyone raise your dongers. Dongers <laughs> raised. Peach. Okay. This is an interesting <coughs> choice. I played his Peach earlier. It's actually pretty good. I know there's one character. Actually, it's a uh, Dark Pit. Dark Pit actually does really well against uh, Custom Donkey Kong. Does Roto run in Dark Pit? No, he doesn't. Unfortunately, this would be. This is actually how I believe once uh, Irikax actually took a set on EG because he ran Dark Pit against the DK. At the very least, it took a game. I think EG just switched to Rosalina. Personally, my answer is Luigi. <laughs> Luigi is really good in the DK matchup, even with customs. Hmm, that's interesting. Just because he's so heavy, and it's an easy combo. I hear you, I hear you. Right. And because he's so big, down throw, up beat works. Okay. Okay, oh, but Roto getting to the match. Roto was behind for a little bit, but he just brought it back with that sick combo. He's just giving him all that ass that he just seems like Donkey Kong can't handle it. See. Peach's back air is her greatest asset. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's really. His turnip game is on point. He threw a turnip oh. and went for forward air. The back air into the turnip. The turnip does not stop the dong air. The dong no, the percent is still goes in. And, and the that back, back throw, throw kills? What? Well, that has been we buffed have a game. since melee. That has been buffed since melee. Okay, we can't, we can't get ahead of ourselves just yet. I mean, DK yeah. can still bring this back. Oh, yeah. We. With DK, the match has never really ended. Oh, he doesn't get the last hit out of it. Game three. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're on game yeah. three. EG's up two games. 
Roto switch to Peach, and it's working out pretty well for him. Well, oh, yep, 42% lead right now. Let's see. Peach actually managing to Down throw. put a lot of percent on with still keeping on his second stop. He's playing super oh, safe. He lands the side beam. Oh, the Ford Peach Bomber. Air? What is this? Okay, okay. Does Roto have a Peach he hasn't been telling us about? Or maybe? Is the dream still alive? Is Peach actually good? No, Peach was oh, always Ford good. Air. That fair, yeah. that'll do it. And maybe. I've seen a good Peach, though. That's just me as a player, though. Peach is pretty good in Smash 4, just no one plays her. But, is this the beginning of EG's road, or, sorry, not EG, is this the, is this Roto's road to coming back? Is it lined with Peach? Roto's road. Tons of damage. Alright. Let's see. Going to town, to town and city. city. This is the stage that I like to call FD when FD is banned. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely see where you got that. Okay, going immediately for the back airs, but he's still rushing in. I think it would probably benefit him more if he spaced him. Oh, you think? Yeah, for sure. spacing I, is I never imagine, a bad idea. Yeah, DK, DK I would imagine is more of a defensive fighter, more so than aggressive. Uh, the way that EG plays him with customs, he definitely can go very aggro. Yeah, with customs, I can see that. But yeah. against Peach, you have to respect Peach's incredible zoning game and play a little bit of zoning on your own. Oh my gosh, his spacing with that forward air is on point right now. Very much so. Every time EG tries to go in, Roto just responds, usually with the forward air. Yes. And if he gets too close, he can just fade back there. Exactly. Oh Roto gosh. apparently really knows this matchup. And it's well, going. I'm pretty sure they play quite a bit in friendlies and stuff. I don't know if oh, he's ever played his Peach or not. I yeah, this Peach came out of nowhere. I did not know Roto had a Peach. I wouldn't have known if I wouldn't have played it earlier. It's oh, and that forward air. Well, that that would that would be the, that's the stock. All right. What is this? <laughs> okay, throws the turn up back. All right, EG. EG saying he's not out yet. He comes with a jab into up air combo. Wants to get the wind box on Roto, but he just floats up too high. He will not come down into that wind box. EG throwing out the back air. He's trying to keep him zoned. Oh, I gotta oh, get EG. off the mic. Alright, see ya. Alright, EG lands that up tail. Almost kills Peach, but not quite. The back air knocks Peach a de decent distance away, but doesn't quite kill. Alright. DK goes for the back throw. It's getting to the point where it'll kill, but it's not quite there. Alright. Oh, EG goes for the forward air. I respect that a lot. I love DK's forward air. It's always a hype move. Alright. Roto getting a very good percent, even if EG manages to take the stock soon, which he just did with the forward tilt. He's got some he's got some catching up to do if he wants to win this game and take the set. Well, I mean, this is Rage Dong, though. Anything could happen. All right, I'm back. My match isn't here yet. Okay, uh, what did I miss? Oh, my gosh. Uh, EG took a stock, and he's actually doing pretty good on catching up in he's percent. He's got that Rage. If he plays safe enough, he should be fine. Do uh, not no. don't I'm not going to put Roto out. Roto seems like he really has a handle on this, but I think EG's starting to understand it pretty well himself. Don't sleep on either of these two. They're both very high-level players. Oh, okay, it's that up air. Will he combo out of it though when he has Peach in the air? He goes for the up air, but Peach just recovers. Goes that is for a B. Okay, he's up in the up in left screen. That's definitely an advantage Peach has in this matchup is that when EG goes for those uh, up Bs, Peach can just kind of float away and still be safe to recover even though she was completely out of the forward way. Forward air. And, and it's tied up. The forward air will end it. We are two games to two. This is the final round. This isn't finals though. We're not there yet, I don't think. You think he'll switch with DK? I don't know. EG is known to have a Rosaluma, so that could come out. That's very true. I don't really know how that match would go against Peach, to be honest. It, I, I don't either know. I, I don't know how any of these Peach matchups are going to go, because I I have never seen Roto's Peach before. Exactly. It's a wild card for sure, and it seems it's, to be working out for him. EG sticking with Donkey Kong. We're running it back, I think. Oh, we may not, not be running it back. We might go to a different stage. I think they're, ta they're talking bands at the moment. All right. They're talking stages. Uh, I think DK is going to want to go to a stage. If he want, if he really could, I think he's going to want to go to Delfino, actually. Delfino, yeah, because you kill up the top really early. Not only that, but there are certain parts where it becomes a walk-off, and walk-offs, like, characters with good back throws, like Donkey Kong, love walk-offs. Well, that, that, that might still favor Peach, too, because a lot of her moves, like her forward air, have a lot of knockback. Plus, she can kill off the top really easy. I mean, her up That's air... True. 
Well, we're going to be again. We're going to Howard. Howard. Okay, still killing off the top for days. Let's go. I think that's what we're going for. That's the plan. Oh, Lens Power. The Peach Bomber, I believe, is the proper name, actually. I like Ass of Power more, though. Yeah. Let's see. That's another one. That's another one of her great assets. Oh my gosh. Alright, these two have definitely. These two understand each other now, and this is such an even game so far. Oh my gosh, the understage mix ups. Oh, went under the stage with the upbeat. That is one of the big things that you can do on Halberd, is you can come back from underneath the stage. That is actually Very why a stage like this actually really favors characters who can, like, recover vertically very well. Because they can just do anything, just get yeah. under it horizontally, yeah, it don't matter. and then just come up. See, Both oh, of the he's under him. That's not a good position to be in. And now you can start to see why EG chose the stage, because he can just dip under the stage and use the Kong Cyclone to come back up from below. Yeah. Both being offensive and recovering at the same time. It puts on a lot of shield pressure. I mean... It certainly does. An excellent stage choice for EG. It's still pretty neutral right now. It's any man's game. Oh, this is definitely a very close match. He's got a match. fully charged a neutral B, DK does, so, I mean... Uh, he's using the, the uh, Wind Punch right now, actually. Yes. I don't know when oh, that kills. Uh, oh, ooh, the B oh, looked kill. like it was going to kill, but it didn't. Oh, that Peach throws out the back air. Too... Oh, oh, and that up B will kill. Okay. Well, I mean, he's still, he's still oh. in it. Oh, Peach lands up smash, but he doesn't quite... Yeah, I thought that would yeah. kill. Yeah. Okay, we have 140% Dong right now. Dong has not fully exp expanded just yet. I believe 150 is full expansion. We are at full expansion now. But Peach quickly ends that with the up smash. No amount of guy ever can save him from that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Forward air. Forward air is 15 for Peach. I mean, it has that delay. It's a very good move if you can get the read to land it. Yeah, oh, I bet it doesn't EG. have a lot of inlight, does it? No, I don't think it does. EG catches Roto in the wind box of the upbeat, but it, the hit just doesn't land. Alright, this bomb lands. No one's going to be hitting it. It's always so hyped to throw people into those bombs. I think, uh, oh, I think K-Man actually won Laser Laser by hitting someone into the bomb on Halberd. Really? I yeah, did not he, know that. He did uh, Doc Mario's like up B where it's like really close and it hits them. Finals? It was finals. Oh, he won that the was entire Envoy. Yeah. Yeah. I was there. I actually saw that match. You're right. It was very cool. Anyways, let's get back to this match. Uh, looks like Roto is definitely taking advantage on this last stock. But will the hand go for him? Yes, oh, it will. Oh, the, the claw it goes him for him. the advantage. Oh. I, oh, oh, oh. Okay, he's back in. He's back I, in the game. I was scared for Roto's life right there. That The claw jank would be a very, very sad way to go. Oh, EG gets him off stage. Will he get the kill? Oh, he tried to get that read, though. It was really oh. close. Dodges the grab. Dong is at very high rage oh, right now. Gosh. Both of them could kill at any moment now. Oh, oh the bomb's God. coming down. Will anything happen with it? Oh. Nope. Okay. Nope. Bomb's out of the way, so we get back to the magic. Okay. No bomb shenanigans. Oh, Peach lands the up air, but it doesn't quite kill. Okay. Dong is at full rage now, so beware. Uh, oh. Full rage is 180. It, it is 180? It is 180. I, I'm sorry. We are not quite at full expansion yet. Oh, oh, the down smash! It? Will the is down smash it? end? The down smash will not quite end it. And they are oh, definitely... Oh, oh, and oh! That's it. The custom up B will end it. What a move. What a move. Maps to ban when you fight custom DK. Right there. Oh, yeah.